No two NFL teams have played more often than the Bears and Packers, and we're underway from Lambeau. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. His ability to adjust on the fly is almost unmatched in the game right now because it leads to a couple of snaps per game where you just sit back and ask okay, yourself, ready? how did he pull that off? Opponents can practice and prepare each and every week all they want, but this guy, he is hard to corral. That throw into the arms of Allen, and he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. First carry for DeAndre Swift. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. And that'll bring up second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Now an option play on second down. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. He'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. A little do-it-yourself run right there, and a nice game. Now, I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get, so he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. Here's Williams on third and two. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. Six foot four inch Jordan Love taking the field for the first time. The 2020 first round pick from Utah State set to lead Green Bay. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now he's looking for more than that. Rocket arm, big play potential. And he wants to show this organization that he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And good job of just fighting through one tackle there to pick up about three. Second down coming up. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Second and seven, operating from the 34. Here's Love. Got his man. That's Luke Musgrave. That one, a first down pickup of eight. When offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Jordan Love ready on first down here. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way, and really we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Here now, second and four. Love looking to throw it. Same target, it's Jacobs again. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? The love throw brought in by Watson. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. 
Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease, feels good about what he's doing. And I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that, and I'm continuing to let him throw the football. Room for Jacobs there on first down as he takes this one forward for a pickup of about seven. A stoppage here following the play, and it looks like Josh Jacobs was shaken up and in need of some assistance. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. From the 20, here's second and three. On play action, love to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. To pass, here's Jordan Love. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down, and he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you've got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown on them. Look out, you've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Again, it's Love. He'll check this down, complete to Dillon. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. Love to the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. Two yards on the pickup there, and that's going to make it fourth down. I think the training and practice broke down on that play because he simply didn't run the route deep enough to get to the first down marker, despite what was a really nice catch and toe tap on the sideline. Yeah, that's third down 101. You've got to go to the marker, know where it is. So a pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope that good things are in store here today for them. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. Tyler Scott now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Their second drive here, the ball game, Charles. Remember last time they threw the interception, but the defense held up. It bent a little, but didn't break, only giving up the three points. Yeah, obviously they left some points on the table there their last time out, but boy, they have to thank their defense for holding the opposition just three after they threw the pick. Their turn now, back out on the field, put together a good drive, and get some points of their own. Oh, that's just not fair, and now room to run. And this will be a Bears first down as the tackle made here at the 36. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. 
But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Williams throw there complete to Allen. He's still on his feet. Touchdown, Chicago! Keenan Allen, 64 yards. And the Bears are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. Solid response that time by a young quarterback. Last drive interception, this drive the touchdown pass. I like how you described it solid because you don't get extra kudos for bouncing back if you're going to be a big time quarterback. You're supposed to do that. But at the same time, when you're a rookie, that's not guaranteed, is it? Sometimes they hang their heads and they go in the tank a little bit. Not in this case. Bounced back, took his team downfield, and threw a touchdown pass. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. That's complete. He finds Jaden Reed. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. Now Love. Slant route, he's got Dobbs. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Back for the second quarter in Green Bay. It's the Packers in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and 10 to throw now. Here's Love. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Reed. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Love with a give to Dillon. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. This second and four. Off the play fake, Love. And it's a Packers touchdown. Tucker Kraft 
25 yards for the touchdown. And the Packers are once again back in front. Did you see how the linebackers froze for just a second? That's why you run play action. You want to keep them rooted in the spot and create a little bit of extra space so your tight end can find some room behind them. And then the quarterback finds his target downfield and he turns it into six points. Anders Carlson now for the point after. And it's through and that makes the lead 10-7. So the drive there took six plays, and it ends with a Packers touchdown. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Wide receiver Keenan Allen bringing out the rest of this offense. He's up near 100 yards now here in the second quarter, but his team's down through no fault of his own. I mean, <laughs> what a nice game he's having so far. They've got to keep finding ways to get him the football. Don't get away from that. Figure out where things are going wrong with the rest of the team. He'll be hoping to hit that 100-yard mark on this drive. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why, what we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup with someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield. After the catch, when they're running with the ball, they think they're going to win those, too. Here now, third and a yard. Back to throw. Williams. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Oftentimes we think of those tough yards as grinding yards that a running back has to pick up. How about the tight end there picking up the first down in that situation? That's what he's there for, right? Big fella, get it to him. Let him fight off some people and pick up the necessary yardage. Again, he'll drop to throw. And there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. They're going to empty the backfield here, so you know this ball's likely to come out quick. They let the four outside receivers run deeper routes and then let the tight end just make a beeline across the formation. He's able to make the catch and turn it into good yardage and a first down. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Offense looked a little bit discouraged after that play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want. And other times, the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. Williams looking to throw on second down. He's going to get, and it's a fumble, and the Packers pick it up, and they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. <laughs> but the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 46. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. It'll be a loss of 10. 
And it'll bring up second. Well, that's an excellent way to get the pass rush activated. The first sack of the game for them comes on the first play of the drive, and it makes it very tough for the opponent to pick up a first down now, playing behind the sticks. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. I was pretty surprised there when they lined up to run it on second and long, but it worked out for them. It certainly did, and that requires some confidence, some fortitude, and a little bit of hope, doesn't it? You hope you catch the defense just right and break off a big run to help yourself out on the next down. But he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. A lot depend on the spot there, and he got it, but it wasn't by much, was it? I remember Coach Madden talking about, depending on which foot the official used, that would tell you whether you had the first down or not. You want that upfield foot to be the one that spots the ball, don't you? And you and I have the luxury of a couple extra views here in the booth, and he did get it, but not by much. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Love from the gun. He'll get this underneath to Jacobs, and he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now this aired out deep for Reed. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. When teams practice their plays during the week, they're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game. And they hit that one there for big yardage. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. To the air again, Love. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. It's a loss of five there on the sack to bring up second and goal. Two minutes remaining in the first half, 10-7, our score. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? Out of the shotgun, it's Love. Touchdown, Packers! Jaden Reed from six yards away. And the Packers are able to add on to that lead. Well, that's what I call an answer right there. They gave up a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because give up the sack on the previous play, that just hurts those guys, because they never want to see their guy get hit. Carlson's extra point up and good, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. And back out there now to send this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Bears offense ready to get going again. 
Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points to Charles, but they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch, partner, for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. Williams now throwing on first down. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Eric Stokes. They have been struggling to put points on the board so far. While you don't want to lump it all on the rookie quarterback, he's definitely the root cause. And all rookies, they have those learning experiences in their first year. What they're hoping for is that he can learn on the fly, work through his struggles against his defense, and at the same time, still find a way to put them in a position to win. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And now they start in plus territory following that turnover as he'll try to get some points here before halftime. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Jacob's going to try the middle. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. It was T.J. Edwards who brought him down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The turnover put them in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You've got to cash in and get some points. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Love now. I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. On fourth down, the Packers call on Daniel Whelan to punt. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. The Bears offense now heading back out onto the field. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left. More than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Now Williams to throw on second down. He finds his target, Allen. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, it hasn't been a banner first half for the defense trying to cover him today, but they'll take that one right there, helping force that incompletion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. To throw again, Williams. And he'll find his man on the out route. That's Allen. Down the left sideline. Touchdown, Chicago! Keenan Allen 
with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bears get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Charles, that's a pretty good response from a rookie quarterback. He's had his struggles in this game, including the interception on the last drive, but there he takes him down the field and puts it in the end zone. I agree with everything you just said right there, and there's a silver lining to all of this, his resiliency, because let's face it, when things are going bad and you're a youngster, they often continue to go bad. But in his mind and his actions, he said, this stops right here. And how about the positive play he just turned in? After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Packer offense heading back for one final first half drive. And they may just be content to take this three-point lead and head into the locker room. Clock at 20 seconds to go in the half as they come up first and 10. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Stopped on the play by Jaquan Brisker. So we've hit halftime, just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was the Packers' leading man, quarterback Jordan Love, who turned in a solid performance in that first half. He came on after a slow start to fire two second quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. All right, coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. A field goal, the difference. 17 14 is the score. Back underway here now in this third quarter. Nixon now from his end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. Here's the Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. This offense set to begin the third quarter. And Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead. And they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. So pass interference, the call, and that does not look to be going over too well on the defensive side or on their sideline because I believe their head coach is saying right now, hey, you've got to call that both ways. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Throwing, love. Well, he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. Think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. On second down, Jacobs found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Attempt. This now a third and four. Here's Love. 
Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion and, more importantly, force a quick punting situation. On now is the Packers punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. And we spotlight Keenan Allen as he gets set to go back to work. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on, yet he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. Here's Williams on first down. Throws left side complete to Keenan Allen. And this will leave him a yard short. Well, so from the 26-yard line, here's second down and one. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A good pickup, 17 yards and a bare first down. The team's pass to set up the run, and that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. Out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss. Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. No, you know their expression, right? On a West Coast offense, when they throw the ball, it's either going to be a touchdown or a check down, meaning they like to press it downfield. If they don't have it, swing it out, which is exactly what we saw there. But how about the great pursuit and tackle to make a nice play? Operating from the gun, Williams. He'll drop this one off to Swift. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. It's about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game. Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. He's going to float this one deep right side. Touchdown! Tyler Scott, 43 yards. And the Bears have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. Santos with the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Well, after the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Love, they go play action now. He throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Well, that's quarterback in the expected passing situation. Third and nine here. Glove. He's got his target. That's complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Well, 
So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Jacobs from the gun. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Gain. Ball on the 40 now. Here's a second and eight. To pass. Here's Jordan Love. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. So eight yards on the completion there. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. Play action this time with Love. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. And the defense coming through on third down. A loss of seven to bring up fourth. Third and one, they opt to pass it. And the one thing happened that could not happen. They took a sack. Yeah, I just wonder, is that an indictment of their offensive line? Did they think that they couldn't move them enough to pick up a first down there? Or was it analytics? Did they think about it that way? In any event, they'll be studying that in the future. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Bears take over. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one-score game, first and 10 here. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Right back to Swift again on second down. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Looking to throw. Williams. And to the right side here, it's Allen. The goal of a wide receiver screen. Third down and 13. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. It's Bears football here. They also have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Back to throw. Williams. And incomplete. A drop there in the middle third of the field because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. Williams throw complete there to Moore. Five yards, now it's third and five. Back to throw again. Packer pressure and down he goes. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. That one sails out of bounds. The side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth-quarter lead. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems he? like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Wave one into the first row. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They will run the draw with Jacobs. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. 
The Packers on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and four. Love looking to throw it. That is caught. And he's going to have the Packers first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Down inbounds, toe tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. On first and ten, Love completes it again to Dobbs. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. Counter play with Jacobs. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones... They have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. Third and three. Try to run for it with Jacobs. And this will be a Packers first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. Brandon, this can be so demoralizing for a defense. They've had two opportunities to get off the field. They haven't gotten it done. So now your coordinator, he's going to call every blitz that he has, any type of exotic, something that they haven't seen before. And he's also telling the defensive lineman, don't worry about holding people up. Just get in gaps and try and make a big play. And not only not getting off the field on two opportunities, clock continuing to run. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Here's a four-receiver look now. Three of those guys out to the right side on second and eight. On play action. Love to throw. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Well, that plays a statistic that's going to go on the defensive team stat sheet. Won't necessarily reflect in hours, right, the overall game sheet. But you and I know that they keep count on pressures, hits on quarterbacks, all those things, hoping to increase that throughout the game. And here we are in the fourth quarter, and they got a big one. Yeah, it's such a close game, a very big one. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? On now is the Packers punter, as he's on here to punt it away. Jones on the return. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. Now the Bears offense ready to take over again. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game, and you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs, and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. And this will be a Bears first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense, but yeah, when they have a chance to run it, they'll do that a little bit more. Big Kenny Clark that time pushing up field to make the tackle for loss. So with your team leading in the fourth quarter, you know you've got to run the football. They know you've got to run the football. Sometimes that means there's nowhere to run the football. On second down, Swift. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. Call it no gain there, and now they're looking at a third and 13. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Chicago! D.J. 
Jay Moore. 62 yards. And the Bears use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. Now the point after try for Santos. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. Well, after the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. Nixon now from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. So here's Love and the Packers. Down by 11, two minutes, 20 seconds to go. They have all three timeouts and the two-minute warning, but they need two scores. First down, love to pass. Over the middle here, it's hauled in by Watson. They need a touchdown, the two-point conversion, and a field goal. Pretty good start to the drive, though. Yeah, good start to the drive, but the urgency has to really be increased by both the players on the field and everyone on the sidelines. Got to make sure everyone is up and into this game. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Love now on second down. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. Here's third down at five. Here's Love. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. And a key number on that play, three. Third play of the drive, third down, spectacular catch, turns into a first down. First down saves him from a three and out. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and ten. Love. To Dobbs and he hauls it in. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course, you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. Under 90 seconds to go. Here's second and 10. Now, Love. That'll be caught right side by Reed. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. This is first and 10. Love looking to throw it. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. That's taken in Dontavian Wicks. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. All three timeouts still remain. Keep. They prefer to use him on the defensive end, but here's first and 10. That's going to be caught. 
And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And with it, they're back within a field goal. So the deficit now three after the huge conversion, but they need to get the football back. So this is where special teams really comes into play because getting the ball back, it starts with this next kickoff. How do they get downfield? Either jar it loose or get the ball back themselves. That's going to be key for them. So a little under 50 seconds to go. Plenty of time if they can get this onside kick. And this is going to be taken in by the Bears, and it appears they're going to win this game. The risk-reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage is switched to their opponent. Got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. An ideal down and distance to try to finish this thing off. Second and inches. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. The win for the Bears just around the corner. They go down to a knee. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And never an easy thing to do, no matter how good Green Bay is, what the year is, to come into Lambeau and get the victory. But they did it. You're not just battling the team that you're playing that day. You're not just battling the crowd that's in attendance in that game. You're battling the history of the franchise. You're battling the ghosts that swirl around that place that help spur them on to victory. It is an unbelievable atmosphere the most historic place in the league, and you have to make sure you stay focused on your task. Otherwise, you can get easily distracted. Yeah, hats off to them for keeping that laser focus and getting the victory. 
So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Lambeau.